All right. Uh, on the talking point this evening, Priyanka Tiberwal is a BJP West Bengal spokesperson and Saket Gokhale, uh, TMC spokesperson. Saket Gokhale, uh, it's been five days since uh, Mr. Patho Chatterjee was arrested. His close aide was arrested and in, twice over two days, first last week and then uh, over the last couple of days. 50 crores in cash and five kilograms of gold jewellery were recovered by the Enforcement Directorate. Had Mr. Chatterjee's continuance, both as minister and a member of your party, become untenable after these pictures came out? Look, it's very simple. As the chief minister said clearly yesterday, and as Banerjee also very clearly said today, when it comes to corruption, the onus, and when talking especially about such huge amounts, the onus is on the minister to go face the trial if he's innocent to prove himself. And, 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 and come back to so the bottom line at the end of this, the party has taken immediate action. The party has expelled him from all portfolio. The party has expelled him from all party positions. Now the onus lies on the ED to get to the bottom of this, to not lay this on the back burner, and to finish this probe as soon as possible, file a charge sheet and take this to the court but, of law. But, but Mr. Gokhale, isn't it a valid question to ask if Mr. Partho Chatterjee reportedly made all of this money, this 50 crores that's been recovered and God knows how much else is, be, is left to be recovered, if he made all this money reportedly during his tenure as a minister and the minister of uh, higher secondary education in, uh, in Bengal, and we, we're all familiar with the SSC scam, isn't it a legitimate question to ask how come the chief minister and other senior functionaries in government had no clue about this? See, look, first of all, the money has found, the money, everything that we're talking about has been found at the house of somebody called Arpita Mukherjee, who's, who's not a member, has nothing to do with the Trinamool Congress. Mm. Now, if obviously this money has not been generated in the last five days that this money has been found. Now, whether it's linked to Partho Chatterjee is something for the ED to decide. But the point here is that this money has not come in the last five days. In 2016, Prime Minister Modi promised after demonetization, black money will be gone. So the question is, the ED has all the tools at its disposal, surveillance, investigation, everything. If the ED did not know about this since five days, how will the party know about it? This lady is not even a member of our party. Okay. Priyanka Tiberwal, they've taken action against a senior leader of the TMC, that too within five days. How many uh, uh, folks have you taken action against uh, after allegations, similar allegations have come forth? Uh, so the TMC is saying that uh, they are above board in this case. They have, uh, as soon as it was public knowledge, they have taken whatever appropriate action uh, required to be taken no, against Pato no, Chatterjee. No, 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 no. They are wrong when they say so. Because, you see, they had no intentions to take any action against him. And this is only after the wiggling of the ED when they saw that the circumstances are now not in favor and so much of cash has been recovered and documents with the name of Partho Chatterjee have been recovered and they had no answer to this. So in order to save their face now, they are saying that we remove him from the uh, post of uh, the minister because they are left with no other option. I, I'll just point out one thing over here. If the intentions were so honest, I'll tell you that on the day when the ED was asking for the arrest of Partho Chatterjee, he ran to SSKM hospital, which is a government hospital. And then he got a certificate where it was stated that he is not fit and he needs admission in the hospital. Only that when, the, uh, sim uh, when a certificate was issued from the AIMS, where it was proved that he is absolutely physically fit to face the investigation and the interrogation, that he was arrested. No, so ma'am, the, 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 the point that the TMC is making is, arrest. no, no, the point that the TMC is making is in five days, once this became public knowledge, A, they have taken action. Two, they're saying this is Arpita Mukherjee's money or reportedly recovered from Arpita Mukherjee's residences. It's up to the ED to prove in a court of law what connection this money has to Partho Chatterjee. What they're asking is, similar allegations were raised against Himanto Biswa Sarma, against Vendu Adhikari, against Mukul Roy, but suddenly when they joined your party, they're all clean. Not at all. Not at all. And let me tell you, everything is not similar. Here, there has been a recovery of crores and crores of rupees. Okay? And I would like to ask that when they are asking a question in respect to Shuvendu Adhikari, they are saying that he should be arrested. When Shuvendu Adhikari was seen on, uh, on the, the camera, allegedly, when he was seen taking that cash, at that point of time, he was in TMC, and then they said that he is innocent. Suddenly, when he changes party, now they want that he should be arrested. 
then I would also question and say that the interrogation is in process and along with Suvendu Adhikari, 8 to 10 other TMC ministers were seen taking. So whatever action okay. has to be taken should be similar for them as well. Saket so Gokhale, the, the, the point is, the point is, these visuals are so vulgar. I mean, it's, it's reviling every ordinary citizen, <laughs> hardworking, tax-paying citizen in this country. Because this money has been reportedly made on the back of the SSE scam for, you know, poor people who had to pay off money to get, you know, teacher recruitments done, uh, uh, you know, recruitments done in other lower level uh, posts in, in government schools across the, across the state. I mean, isn't it repulsive that all of this money has been made on the back of poor people who are uh, desperately looking for a job, for a government job? No, can I? Can I, can I remind you of uh, something that, you know, the highest legal authority of the land, the Honorable Chief Justice of India, about six days ago while speaking at a symposium, he said that today what we have seen is that nobody cares about what the courts do. The media sits down, the media passes judgments, analyzes evidence based on sources, and passes a verdict. Here you're already passing a verdict before a charge sheet has even been filed. You're passing a verdict that money has been made on the back of poor people, all of these. I mean, then why do we have court of how, law at the end How of the has day? this money then come to Arpita Mukherjee's house? Uh, she, as I understand, is a small-time actress. Uh, we don't know what her sources of revenue are. She reportedly has five flats across the city of Kolkata. So what is your best uh, estimate for how, how and where she got this money from? How did the money come to her is a job for the ED to investigate. All we are saying very simply is investigate this ASAP. If Partha Chatterjee is found guilty, if he's found linked, charge sheet him, make sure there's a fast track court, send him for life in prison if you have to. But on the other side, our only thing is that treat everybody with the same yardstick. No, I mean, the question is, Suvendu Adhikari is never summoned by the ED or anybody else. Himanta Biswa Sarma has never gotten a summons. You have MLAs in Maharashtra who had ED cases. Now they've allied with the BJP. There is no questioning anything happening, no raids happening. So the point is that the BJP is washing machine. But, and, you know, the ED has to treat every but, case but with a new... But it, I mean, it, isn't, it <laughs> isn't to you for a moment uh, repulsive <laughs> that these pictures, <laughs> this <laughs> money <laughs> has been recovered <laughs> from a close <laughs> aid of one of the <laughs> senior <laughs> most <laughs> members of your party, by the way. He was not just education minister, he was also general secretary. Uh, I'm given to understand Again. for a long time, a secretary general of your party for a long time. It, it is not it's repulsive to you that this amount of money has been recovered from a close aid of a man who is a dyed-in-the-wool TMC man. Will you let me answer no, the I'm question? No, I'm asking. Yes, I'm asking. Yeah. And nobody questions longer than any response. No, that's I fine. That's that's okay. That's okay. We, we anchors are okay, used to this. Yeah. That that's okay. Then fine. Then no, no, go ahead. Yeah. Us. Give me an answer. No, I'll give you more than enough time to to respond. Thank you very much. Hmm. So. Is it repulsive, the amount of cash? Yes. It is repulsive and it has come to light because the ED raided the house. I can tell you there is at least 30 to 40 BJP ministers, MPs, senior leaders whose names are surfaced several times in corruption scams. But you don't see this amount of vulgar display of money because the houses are never raided. Second thing, you said Partho Chatterjee was very senior, very close to the leadership. Despite that, he has not only been divested of all his portfolios, he's been sacked from every post in the party. That shows at the end of the day, look, we did not protect him like the BJP is protecting Ajay Mr. Taini, you know. What we have done is no matter how senior you are, if you're under a crowd of suspicion, you are out of the party until you prove your innocence. Will the okay. BJP do so, that in case of their senior leaders? 